Text me when you submit your application and I'll ask the program director to put your application at the top of the interview pile. How amazing would it feel if a medical resident actually said that to you? What about if 40 to 50 medical residents said that to you right before you submitted your residency applications to their programs? Unfortunately, for the overwhelming majority of IMG, FMG, and even AMG med students, this is a dream scenario that never gets realized. In the recent residency match, there were a total of 37,256 positions up for grabs. There were 40,084 active applicants for those positions, and 12,074 of them were IMG students. Out of those 12,074 IMGs who applied, only 7,376 matched for a total of only 61%. That also means that of all the IMG applicants, a whopping 39% went unmatched. So if you're an IMG and you're planning on applying for residency next year, in two years, three years, or even in four years, there's only around a 61% chance that you're going to match into a residency program. So as an IMG, it's almost going to come down to flipping a coin. Now, there's a few reasons why this happens. The first is poor advice from your peers. Most students are under the false impression that USMLE scores are all that matter. And while they are important, they're just one piece of the puzzle. I've seen countless students with excellent USMLE scores go unmatched for a variety of reasons. Just this past match season, a friend of one of our students had USMLE scores in the 99th percentile, but she did not match into anything. And when we got more information, we realized that she hadn't paid attention to anything else except for her USMLE scores. And in that scenario, it just wasn't enough. So you can't just rely on advice from your peers who haven't yet done it, because they're just saying what they've heard from the same types of students before them and those before them. Reason number two is simply a lack of actively building your resume. Now this one is really key, and most students simply don't consider this as something that needs to be done until they're just about to start applying for residency. Unfortunately, as many students will come to realize, if they haven't been actively doing the things along the way that allows them to have an impressive and well-rounded application, it can be too late. And reason three is focusing on only surviving instead of focusing on thriving. This is a mindset that many students take when they start med school. They focus on just getting through it or just getting by or just surviving. And they don't spend any time actively working for their residency application. If you realize early on that the most important thing that you're going to create in your medical school career is your residency application, then you can focus each day on doing things that will make your application stand out. But 99.9% .9 of students, they simply don't do this. Most don't even think about this. So how can we prevent you from becoming a victim of what I call blissful ignorance? Blissful ignorance is what happens when medical students fall into a false sense of security. So you got into medical school and now you think that everything's gonna be amazing. All of your friends and family are proud of you. Everyone is congratulating you and you believe that you've made it. You'll get lulled into thinking that you're already a doctor and that as long as you survive the next four years, that you will be home free. But it's all just a state of blissful ignorance. The truth is, if you aren't hyper aware of the odds that you won't match into any residency program is extremely high, you won't take the necessary steps to ensure that you fall into the 61% who match, not the 39% who don't. We don't want your dreams to come to a screeching halt after fourth year. We want you to have a fruitful and amazing career as a practicing doctor. So how can you prevent yourself from being one of the forgotten 39% of IMG students who go unmatched? The answer is by being proactive. In Stephen Covey's best-selling book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he states that proactive people carry their own weather with them. But you can only be proactive if you know what you're being proactive for. And now that you're aware that so many students become victims of this thing I call blissful ignorance, you have the capacity to carry your own weather with you by being proactive and writing your own future. You can choose to survive medical school and run the risk of a stormy future, or you can take action now and ensure that your future is bright. The harsh reality is that most medical students only have the goal. 
they don't have the crystal clear plan of action in place to actually accomplish that goal. And the successful medical students who not only get into a residency program, but get into a residency program they want to, have a crystal clear vision of what they want and they have a step-by-step -step plan to make it happen. Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Cherisic. I'm one of the founders of the USMLE Preparation Company. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you exactly how I've helped medical students successfully match into their dream residency programs for the last decade by implementing tried and true strategies to position themselves as the ideal and perfect candidate for their dream residency position. No matter where they went to medical school, where they were born, or any other factors that might be holding them back from getting into their dream programs. I'm also going to share with you the single most important tip that top students use to get great USMLE scores. The one thing you must do on day one of your clinical rotations to ensure you get a cascade of positive results that will directly benefit your residency applications and my secret weapon for opening the residency interview floodgates and ensuring that you get more interviews than you can even handle. These are the exact strategies that we've been sharing with our students since 2009 and that have helped countless students successfully match into their dream residency programs. So if you're a medical student at any stage of your journey and you wanna begin implementing proven strategies that will help you position yourself as the ideal and perfect candidate for your dream residency program, you're exactly where you need to be. The ideal type of student we work with is the student who is highly driven to succeed. And we typically work with three types of students. The first type of student is someone in their first year of medical school. The second type of student is a student in their third or fourth year who realized that they may not be in the greatest shape to get into residency. And now they wanna start taking big steps to give themselves the best shot of success possible. Now, the third type of student we work with is typically the older student who has graduated from medical school, is usually outside the country, but who wants to give getting into residency in the United States another shot. Whether you're in your first week of medical school or you already graduated and failed to match, or you've been out of school for many years and you're ready to get back into it, there are two simple factors that determine our student's success. The first is a strong desire to succeed. If you have that, we'll get you to where you want to be. The second is the ability to be coached. If you're driven and coachable, our simple strategies will help you position yourself as the ideal and perfect candidate for your dream residency program. We help you position yourself as a residency program's ideal and perfect applicant by doing the following. First, ensuring that the objective methods by which residency applicants are assessed are as strong as they can possibly be. These are things like your grades and your scores. The second is ensuring that the subjective methods by which residency applicants are assessed are far above and beyond those of your competition. These are things like your letters of recommendation. The third is ensuring that you create a network of cheerleaders who will sing your praises and vouch for you when it comes time to submit your residency applications. If you're in medical school, you've probably noticed that there are two types of students. The first type of student has what we call shiny object syndrome. This is a student who is always on the lookout for the next best study book or program. This student sees one student using one thing and then goes and buys it. Then sees another student using something else and then goes and buys that. Never really taking any action, but rather collecting book after book that just sits there and collects dust. The second type of student does the exact opposite and we call them the strategy plus massive action takers. This student seeks out those who are where they want to be in the future, asks them how they did it, and then works tirelessly to follow in those exact footsteps. This student is taking proven strategies and then implementing massive action so that they can achieve their goals. Success leaves clues, and if you follow those clues, you can achieve the same results. So what is it specifically that separates those medical students who are blissfully ignorant and float through medical school only to find themselves unable to match from those who get more interviews than they can even attend and get into their top residency choice. After more than 10 years of working with thousands of medical students and helping them get into their dream residency programs, as well as speaking with hundreds of additional success stories, I've been able to narrow down three things that separate those who pretty much cruise to their dream residencies from those who struggle to even get a single interview. They are as follows. The first is that successful students 
tend to reverse engineer the entire process. So what this means is that students who get more interviews than they pretty much can handle understand exactly what a residency program is looking for, and then they work backwards to ensure that they implement as many of the necessary components that will boost their chances of success. The second thing they do is they structure their lives to attain their ultimate goal. Students who succeed, for the most part, do so because they figure out what they need to do. They schedule everything and they stick to it religiously. There is so much to do in medical school that it can become easy to overlook the most important steps that will help you become well-rounded and increase your chances of standing out on your residency applications. By scheduling everything into your days, weeks, and months, you ensure that you're taking the necessary steps each day to get closer and closer to achieving your ultimate goal. And the third thing that successful students realize is the importance of having a network. Remember, there are more than 37,000 students applying to the match every year, and even the most outstanding students can get lost in the shuffle. By having a network that can help bring our application to the forefront, we're ensuring that we minimize the chances that our application gets lost in the sea of applicants. And the best part is, for those students who are deliberate in putting these three things in place, the odds of not matching, even with just average USMLE scores, is pretty low. And by putting the right things in place, you get an instant boost in your odds of success and get yourself that much closer to getting into your dream residency position. Let's dive in and take a look at the three things I promised that I'd show you that can help you to position yourself as the ideal and perfect candidate for your dream residency program. The first thing we need to discuss is what I call the single most important tip that top students use to achieve great USMLE scores. The USMLE exams are oftentimes seen as extremely challenging and tough to crack. But as with everything else, success leaves clues. I've personally worked alongside thousands of medical students who have absolutely crushed their USMLE exams, and I've interviewed and chatted with thousands more who have done the same. And there's one thing that every single one of the top scoring students have implemented into their USMLE prep, whether it be step one, step two, or even step three. The single most important tip is also extremely simple to implement. The tip is consistency. You see, it's almost impossible to get a 250 or higher on your USMLE exams if you're only cramming the information for two to three months. Instead, start early create a specific and detailed plan based on your main weaknesses and commit to being consistent with your review. To do well on step one, you need to start early and you need to review often. To do well on the step two exam, you need to start early and you need to review often. There's nothing overly complicated about it. The key to great USMLE scores is developing a plan and committing yourself to being consistent over a long period of time by implementing effective study techniques that get you the most bang for your buck. So be sure to sit down and map out exactly what you need to be doing on a daily basis to get you slowly but surely to content mastery and then develop the discipline you need to do the work each and every day. If you follow these steps, I can guarantee you that you will maximize your USMLE scores across the board. The second thing I wanna share with you is what I call the one thing that you can do on day one of your clinical rotations to start creating momentum and to get a cascade of benefits throughout all of your third and fourth year clinical rotations. This one thing is called leadership. I've seen it time and time again. Medical students think that by just showing up and going through the motions, that they're going to get what they need to get into residency. But how can you possibly position yourself as the ideal and perfect residency candidate if you're not even willing to do the work during clinicals to position yourself as the perfect and ideal medical student. By changing your approach to clinicals from one where you are there to merely get by and do what needs to be done to get through, to being a leader and doing anything possible to be seen as a model student, you'll experience some amazing benefits along the way. For example, I recently had a conversation with a student who matched into her residency program of choice, and during one particular program residency interview, they all made it a point to mention how impressive her letters of recommendation were from every single attending, and that it was her leadership skills that were a major determining factor in why she was brought into interview. And to be honest, this wasn't just a one-time occurrence. It was a recurring theme throughout the two to three month interview process at every single program. So 
By committing yourself to taking on a leadership role during clinicals, not only will you develop the ability to lead a team of students and residents in the future, your efforts will also be rewarded by letters of recommendation that stand out from the crowd and get your foot in the door. The third thing I want to discuss with you is my secret weapon and the single most effective strategy that helps our students establish themselves as the ideal and perfect residency candidate to everyone well before they even apply for residency. The secret weapon is the ability to network with the right people at the right time in the right way. Networking is an art form and if done incorrectly, not only will it not work, it will backfire spectacularly and can have the opposite effects that you want. So you're probably wondering why networking is so important and how out of everything we could possibly do to help boost our chances of getting more residency interviews, networking is the secret weapon. The reason why it's the secret weapon is very simple. It's because word of mouth is more powerful than anything else. And the more people who can vouch for you, the better. To give you an example, if 5,000 people are applying to a dermatology program, maybe a couple of hundred would get interviews. So how do they decide who gets interviews? So for a competitive specialty like dermatology, the first thing they're probably looking at are your USMLE scores. Then they might look at what kind of work you've done to contribute to the field of dermatology. Imagine if you'd been networking with one of the residents in that particular dermatology program, and over the course of six to nine months, you've been building a friendship with that person, and that person has witnessed your tremendous passion and dedication to dermatology. And as the program director is going through and trying to figure out who to invite for an interview, the resident with whom your friends asks for a favor and asks that you get an interview. Chances are that this word of mouth recommendation will be taken very seriously and that you'll be invited for an interview. It's the same with recommendations for TV shows or movies. Imagine you're scrolling through Netflix and you don't know what to watch and you have a hundred different options and you come across something that a friend of yours said was good. Aren't you more likely to have a positive impression of that show or movie? And aren't you more likely to give it a chance? The answer is 100% yes. And that's why word of mouth is so important. And that's why networking is going to be your secret weapon. At the beginning of this video, I said, text me when you submit your application and I'll ask the program director to put your application at the top of the interview pile. That's the goal with the implementation of our unique networking strategy. We teach our students how to build bridges with the right institutes and the right people, and then how to nurture those contacts until they blossom into full-fledged friendships that create leverage and increase the chances that you'll be able to get more interviews than you can possibly handle. Of course, this is a secret weapon and it requires a very specific set of steps, but I've just revealed to you what our students are using to get five, 10, 20 times more interviews than they would have normally gotten. Because remember, the most powerful influencer in the world is word of mouth. So if you leave this video and don't go any further, remember that your network is directly related to your net worth. The more vast of a network that you can tap into, the more options you will have in the future. And ideally, more options means more interviews at your dream residency programs. What are the results of executing this correctly? You will position yourself as the ideal and perfect candidate for your dream residency positions, and you'll position yourself to get enough residency interviews so that you can all but guarantee a residency position. And possibly, most importantly, have the assurance that every step that you take along the journey is getting you one step closer to realizing your dream of becoming a practicing doctor in the United States. Remember, success leaves clues. You can either listen to students in your class who haven't done it yet. You can read all of the negativity on the forums from students who are wasting their time on forums rather than boosting the residency applications, or you can follow the path that's already been laid out before you towards your ultimate goal. Don't try and crack the code. It's already been cracked and I just gave it to you. Remember, you can reverse engineer what your dream residency programs want. It's all out there for you to find. Just do the research, find out what they want from you. Then you can create a structured plan that you can follow each and every day to move closer and closer to fulfilling what your dream residency program wants. This will include proper study habits, early and consistent USMLE prep, taking on a leadership role, networking the right way, and many other things. Then, having fulfilled exactly what your dream residency program wants, you can apply. And if you networked correctly, 
you'll get a boost from some word of mouth influence from your network. Then you'll get the interviews and achieve your goal of getting into your dream residency program. When you have all of these steps lined up and you're willing to do the work, you can have some amazing results like the thousands of students that I've worked with since all the way back in 2009. And the best part is today with social media, achieving these goals is so much easier than it was just five years ago. Now you have a choice. Don't forget the numbers. Last year, a total of 12,074 IMGs applied to residency programs across the United States. And of those 12,074, 4,698 did not match. So you have a choice. Do you want your future to come down to odds that are about as good as flipping a coin? Or do you want to do absolutely everything in your power to make sure that you're one of the 7,376 IMGs that did match? I'm guessing that if you're still here, you want to be one of the lucky 61% of IMGs who matched. Well, guess what? There's absolutely zero luck involved. Those who matched followed the formula for success. If you'd rather not leave your future up to a coin flip, and you want to follow a proven system that will allow you to maximize your chances of getting into residency by positioning yourself as the ideal and perfect residency candidate, then we want to work with you inside our Residency Roadmap Mentorship Program. For a limited time, we're opening up spots to speak with you one-on-one -on -one during a 30-minute strategy call to determine if you meet the following criteria. So we only work with three types of students. Students who realize that getting into residency is a challenge and want to follow a proven plan and strategy for success. Students who are willing to work as hard as possible and do whatever it takes to make their dreams a reality. And students who are coachable and willing to follow our methodology to help them achieve their dreams. If any of these sound like you, then we want you to book a call to speak with us today. On this call, you'll be working with myself or one of our team members, and we'll identify whether our residency roadmap program is the right fit for you and whether we believe that we can help you achieve your goals. We'll discuss where you're at currently, what challenges you're currently experiencing or have experienced in the past, as well as identify any barriers that we foresee on your road to residency based on the information we learn from you and develop a strategy to dramatically increase your chances of getting into your dream residency program. This is for any medical student who wants to get into residency and is willing to do whatever it takes to match. This is for students who understand that getting into residency is not easy and are willing to follow our proven plan and strategy. And this is for any student who understands that they need to have some skin in the game. Working with us in our residency roadmap program is not cheap, but most of our students will earn back their investments by not having to reapply to residency multiple times and a thousandfold when they get into residency and journey through their medical careers. This isn't for you if you're looking for a shortcut or an easy way to get into residency. This isn't for you if you're not willing to be coached and implement any feedback that we give you along the way. This isn't for you if you like to complain or you like to make excuses. This isn't for you if you're not 100% dedicated and willing to do whatever it takes to get into residency. And this isn't for you if you're afraid of or not willing to invest into your future. On this call, we'll help you figure out where you're at and what you need to do to accomplish your goals and how to make it happen with the least resistance possible along the way. So if this is for you, here's what you should do next. Scroll down and click the apply to see if you qualify button and fill out the application form and select a time for your free strategy call. This application is important because it will allow us to determine if we believe that we can help you and that we're the best option to help you accomplish your goals, as well as to determine if you're committed to stepping up and doing whatever it takes to succeed. Once we receive your application, we'll review it and meet you at the selected date and time to start discussing a strategy to help you position yourself as the ideal and perfect residency candidate for your dream residency program. Then, when the call is over, one of two things will happen. We'll either determine that you're a great fit for our program and that we can help you succeed, at which point we'll extend an invitation to work with us and tell you all about how the Residency Roadmap program works. Or, if you're not a good fit for the program, we'll let you know and we'll part ways with no hard feelings, but with a new sense of clarity and direction so that you can go off and try to do things on your own. This will be an incredibly valuable 30 minutes, so go ahead and click the button below and fill out your application and book your call time and we'll reach out to you to make sure we're a good fit to work together. So don't wait to book your call if you wanna be one of the lucky 61% of IMG students who has the opportunity to not only get into residency, but their dream residency. If now is the time that you're ready to step up 
and position yourself as your dream residency's ideal and perfect candidate, click the button below and book your call today. Once you click the button, you'll be prompted to fill out a short application and then you'll be able to select a date and time that fits into your schedule. We'll see you on the call.